love the look of eyelets in my craft projects, but you know you need the right tools to get started. So you want to make sure that you have, again, a self-healing mat. You do not want to set these eyelets on a, on a, a table because you're going to make a mark on your table. So you have a self-healing mat. There's a couple other tools. One is an eyelet punch, and the, the tips come in different sizes. Now, you'll notice when you buy your eyelets, the dimensions of them are different sizes. So you're going to make need to make sure that you've punched the right size hole. So these are just interchangeable. So I've screwed my the hole punch onto, onto, the, uh, onto the tool, and I'm going to just go ahead, and I'm going to use my little hammer, and I'm going to punch a hole. Now I'm going to take my eyelet, and of course you have to remember, the top of my eyelet is the decorative part, so that's the part that I want to put through the hole on the front, because that's the part that I want to see. So then I'm going to turn it over. You're going to put it directly on top of the eyelet, and you're going to punch. So what you've done now is when you turn it around, you have your eyelet set. One other quick little thing, as, you're, as you've been punching a bunch of holes through here, through here, you can take the cap off and then you can just take like a needle or a bead reamer and you can get rid of all of that excess paper that's in there so that each time you have a good clean punch. There's another great tool to do the same thing with and this is called a crocodile and it has two different size hole punches for your eyelets and then it has the spin piece up here at the top. This is a great one that when you buy it you want to read through all of your instructions to make sure you get that perfect eyelet every time.